Leslie Oliveira's book, Hacking Communities, is poetry. Hacking Communities is a love letter to the culture and the study of community building. The reason it's possible, using Oliveira's strategy, to hack a community is precisely because she doesn't focus on strategies and tactics for building community. She wants to help you, the person building the community, grow into the mindset of being a community builder. Leste Oliviera presents in her book three main theories, and we'll get to those theories, but the most important part is about the community builder themselves. That's why it's called hacking community. It's a little bit of a misnomer. She does not mean to say that you're hacking communities using specific strategies or quick tips. This is you taught to fall into the mindset of a community builder. A set of tenets. And it's these tenets that the root of Les de Olivier's hacking communities finds its value. This is a value that you should read yourself, but I am going to explain to you what this book did for me as a community builder. Les de Oliveira strikes on three primary analogies, three metaphors that are used in order to define community. She introduces these as community as a home, community as a set of atoms, that's going to be an interesting one, and community as a dandelion. But first, it's a little bit weird because I can't like wave around a book at you, but this book is actually coming to you on this channel as a result of the Information Diet Book Club. This is different from other book clubs in marketing or community or development because we're not just expecting you to read a book and collect the insights, we're expecting you to meet with us, to discuss, to talk. To do that, we have an asynchronous chat as a part of our online community discord where all of our takeaways is literally put down there for you. This kind of book club allows us every single week to tackle harsh problems that we find in a lot of these books while also allowing you to distill and understand what's happening at a faster pace. Then at the end of every book, which is usually about once per month, you'll see one of these videos right here on the YouTube channel. Leste Oliveira has lived in a ridiculous amount of places, and because of that, she has found herself lonely. She's found herself seeking out community repetitively over and over and over again. It became a part of her core soul. It became something that she did naturally to seek out and find small groups, build friendships around those groups, and leverage those friendships, not for business, but to create greater sense of belonging. Leste Oliveira is part of Startup Grind, and it is her responsibility to build local communities of startup individuals who are looking for a resource, help, support, mentorship, development. And it is this notion, this mindset, this connection, this feeling of belonging that led to her first main theory of community as a home. Her notion of community as a home is a place where you feel like you can take off your shoes in an offline setting that's more like just shed the professionalism even though it's a professional community. This isn't one of those cocktail parties of people all hoity-toity. No, this is a fireplace. It's a lot like atoms colliding. It's your job to put them into a pressured system where they are capable of communicating. It's your job to increase the amount of interaction and cohesion to keep them together. And after the fact, it's important for you to increase the incident and the occurrences of them hitting one another. It's about consistency. It's about development. It's about cohesion. And this is a really, really important part of the atomic theory. It's about increasing the incidences of chances that this might happen. Over time, the way that Leslie Oliveira views these communities growing and developing consistently is by looking at and empowering the conversations that come out of them to leverage further conversation. She has a growth model that is much like the socio-ecological model that I discuss here, but also very, very much like the life cycle of a dandelion. She has this artful prose for this one, so buckle up. Les de Oliveira has five main stages for the state of your community. Whenever you graduate to each stage, the way that you communicate, the way that you create collisions, and the way that you build your home has to change. That change has to occur based upon the stage that you are in's goal. So first off, let's talk about the seed. A seed is literally a very small but very dense piece of potential. This is about your values, your mission, your goals, your statement. This is something that people feel comfortable holding in their hands, seeing and saying, 
I want to plant this in my backyard. It's about getting that buy-in, not just by saying, oh yeah, we could probably do it, but by seeing the actual potential. This is about creating a founders group of people who are absolutely passionate about doing this work and then cultivating them watering them until they sprout. Sprouting stage is about ensuring that all of that work that went into the seed stage actually shows, peaks out above the ground. It's about the expression and the development. This is where a lot of your public events might be. This is where your personal brands will start to collide with the development of a community identity. This is the moment you start to see the fruitions of a community budding. Once you get into a budding stage, you've collected and amassed enough for a community. You've produced what I call a magnetic brand. You've started to see this sprouting process occur. You start to see it flowering. The flowering stage to an average community member is going to be viewed as like the end state. That's not the case for Les de Oliveira. The flowering stage is about advocating and promoting. This is about the difference between a sense of belonging in a community and a sense of success coming from that community. People are not going to advocate for a brand that they like or love. They're going to advocate for a brand that has truly transformed their lives, made them successful. And it's the last stage of this analogy that is truly important. It's the one that Les de Oliveira wants us to spend the most time on. Flying. The purpose of a dandelion is to spread, to create entire fields of dandelions, to go out into the world and create another dandelion. The success of your community members is the tantamount number one factor to whether or not you have a community that flowers or a community that flies. Throughout Les de Oliveira's book, a large majority of us had one major flaw or one major drawback. It's that this book is not really all that technical. It doesn't really have down to the ground, do this to build your community setups. It doesn't have a simple discussion about quote metrics. It doesn't give you frameworks that you can reliably apply and say, this is this, this is this, here's how. Les de Oliveira's secret to hacking community is about hacking you. So in the course of the book, throughout the Discord, we've distilled out of Leslie Oliveira's 13 tenets. These tenets begin from the internal sense of who you are, and then they apply greater and greater and greater levels to who your community is. Beginning with identity, the notion of who you are. Humility, having the capacity to express that identity in a way that people actually feel comfortable bringing them to you. The vulnerability necessary to make changes, take feedback and implement it from others, to delegating, to developing, and to setting your ego aside. The authenticity to represent that humility over time. The abundance mindset to suggest that you're not trying to make decisions about resources. You are trying to increase the resources so the decisions can be made by other people. The resolution of core values to ensure that all of the other people who choose to follow you are capable of following you with the same mindset of abundance. The capacity as a result of this abundance mindset and this sense of identity to create connections through collisions, ensuring that person A and person B can communicate however many times they want to connect. And the safety to be able to do that within a space that people feel comfortable divulging important self-disclosures to. Over time, the abundance mindset and the connection of being a proper community builder is about collision and adhesion, keeping people together, keeping people talking, keep, keeping people interacting. It's about increasing the notion and the sense of trust between two individuals, three individuals, five, seven, 12, and so on. There are closed levels of exclusive circles that you can have interacting and interconnecting between one another. Small little dandelions growing and spreading and growing and spreading until they can all interconnect and network with one another. And the sense of empowerment, the mentorship capacities necessary to give each little dandelion their own capable functional leader also able to help their own community fly. I told you the book was artful. I told you the book was poetic. It's probably one of its biggest drawbacks, if I'm honest. You're not going to be looking at this book in order to find some highly technical business, but let's be real, there are other books for that. 
This is about helping you understand what it means to build community intrinsically. And to conclude, this book is encapsulated in one main line that she states in her conclusion, quote, Les de Oliveira's journey turned this book into a spiritual guide more than it was a practical guide to building community. And I could not agree more. We've needed this in the space. It's beautiful prose, and it's highly introspective. It's tremendously artful, and it deserves a read. It deserves two reads, four reads. It deserves a lot of reads. And if you liked this book, I welcome you to join us in the community Discord in order to see some of the amazing and great takeaways that you're going to see right here down below. I've snapped a few so that you can see what this is going to look like, and I highly recommend that you hop into our Discord and read them yourself. Hacking communities, it seems, is about an attitude, not a theory.